should expect the maximum power dissipation at this point as well. Then we select, this is the maximum power, we select two points uh, which are half of the power. Actually the problem is that uh, when we want to define the bandwidth of uh, uh, this, this circuit, where do we start? I mean, we can say that this is the bandwidth, somebody could say that this is the bandwidth, and somebody could say, no, this is the bandwidth. So, uh, to remove this confusion, uh, a, a point was agreed that we take the half power point. So, this is the half power point, and uh, whatever is the frequency at the half power point, those are the two extreme frequencies and the, the difference between the two is the bandwidth of the circuit. Okay, now half power point is defined in three ways. Number one, we can just write half P or 0.5 P or power or we can write 0 0.707 uh, in terms of current so, uh, or 1 over under root 2 also, so it's the same thing, 0.707, yeah, or 1 over under root 2. So, when we, um, the graph is in terms of current or in terms of voltage, then the half power point is written as 0 0.707 Vm over R or 0 0.707 Im. Now, one of the formulas of calculating the half power frequencies uh, is this formula. We will not go into the derivation. You can see your book. It has been derived. So, the, these are uh, um, the two values of omega 1 and omega 2. This is also called omega low. So, this is omega low and this is omega high. Uh, once we have found out the values of omega 1 and omega 2, it can be shown that the resonant frequency or the center frequency is under root of the multiplication of the two. So, this is another way of finding uh, the resonant frequency if we know the two uh, low and high frequencies or half power frequencies. And as we discussed here, the bandwidth is the difference between the two. So, it is omega 2 minus omega 1 is the bandwidth. And this is another way of defining the quality factor or finding the quality factor is that if you know the resonant frequency and if you know the bandwidth, then quality factor can also be defined as omega naught over uh, the bandwidth B. And uh, if you look uh, from this equation and the circuit, there are three graphs, one, two and three. Now, what is the difference? You see the one which has sharp peak has a smaller bandwidth and the one which has comparatively flat uh, shape has a larger bandwidth. Now, this is especially uh, important in the tuning circuit when you are trying to tune in a radio. If you have a sharp uh, high Q or uh, uh, sharp tuning circuit, then you can select a radio station very precisely and you can have a clear uh, sound without any interference from the neighboring stations. But the selection is very, very precise. You have to very carefully move because its bandwidth is very small. With slight uh, movement of the dial, this channel uh, will disappear. If you have a wider um, bandwidth 
or low Q circuit, then the chances are that whatever station is here, there may be interference from some other stations. So generally we define uh, a circuit to be high Q circuit if the value of Q is greater than 10. So we have to keep this in mind because in subsequent examples that we solve, uh, we will be using this high Q. And this is an important deduction. If, the, if we have a high Q circuit, then instead of going through this formula for calculating omega 1 and omega 2, we can uh, use the formula that is omega naught minus B over 2. So it's kind of a the half of the bandwidth, so omega naught minus half of the bandwidth, you get omega 1 and omega naught plus half of the bandwidth, we get omega 2. So uh, these two equations can be used provided we have high Q circuit or Q is greater than 10. Okay, so another example. We have to now find the resonant frequency. We have to find half power frequencies, calculate the quality factor, calculate bandwidth and determine the amplitude of the current at omega naught, omega 1 and omega 2. Okay, so since uh, this is again simple series circuit, so we will use this formula omega naught 1 over under root LC to find uh, the resonant frequency which is 50 kilo radians per second. Then we can find Q by using the formula. So Q is 25 which is high Q more than 10 and so to find omega 1 and omega 2, uh, sorry, the uh, before going to the uh, finding the uh, half power frequencies, we have skipped this, we came on to calculating the quality factor because if we, if we know the quality factor and the bandwidth, then we can find omega 1 and omega 2 easily by the formula that we discussed in the previous slides. Okay, so B or the bandwidth is omega naught over Q, so bandwidth is 2 kilo radians per second and now we come to calculating B. Now since Q is greater than 10, so we will use this formula, so omega 1 is omega naught minus B over 2 and omega 2 is omega naught plus B over 2, so simple 50 minus 1 and 50 plus 1, we get the uh, 2 half power frequencies which are the omega 1 and omega 2. And lastly, we have to determine the amplitude of the current at these three values. So at omega is equal to omega 1, we know that the current is given by Vm over R. So it is the maximum value 20 and divided by resistance, so it is 10 ampere. But at the two extremes, uh, sorry, two um, uh, of the other frequencies, half power frequencies omega 1 and omega 2, the value of current will now be Vm over under root 2 divided by R. So this it was Vm over R here but in this case it will be Vm over under root 2 because these are the half power points and we discussed earlier that it is Vm over under root 2 or 0 0.707 and divided by R. <coughs> so in this case it is 7.7 7.071 uh, 7 ampere. 